Hello everyone, my name is Akai Madden. I am a P-TECH teacher with Dunbar High School. I teach juniors a career practicum course, also known as the work-based learning course. Um, it gets students ready for the workforce, so you can kind of consider it more so as a business course. Um, most of my students are healthcare majors, so they major in respiratory therapy, nursing, and physical therapy. Um, I had the opportunity uh, this summer to work with Marilyn Ivana Happy, um, and we worked on a project called Breathing Made Fun. Um, I made up another little name for my project um, called Little Bits versus Alduino. Um, the reason I made this name for it is because uh, the first part of the project, we uh, worked with Little Bits, and then the second part of the project, we worked with Alduino. Um, but as I get further into the presentation, you guys will see why I actually made up that little name for it. Um, so the overall project goals is that um, the machine is specifically for respiratory therapy and it monitors the patient's breathing. So the whole goal is for it to monitor how patients breathe when they're in respiratory therapy. Um, the second goal was to make respiratory therapy fun. So basically when the um, patient inhales correctly, um, there's like a plunger inside that will block the light sensor and then it would trigger the pulse to count. And then when that happens, um, the threshold would trigger the MP3 make player to make fun sounds. The next goal that we had was to rebuild that same tool using Arduino, a photodiode, um, and a buzzer for functioning. Um, a little introduction is um, we're going to start off with the um, little bits portion of it. Um, for the first part of this project, we used little bits to build the actual tool. Um, this consisted of the synth speaker, the pulse, um, the power, the glue dots, the wires, the bar graph, mounting boards, light sensor, screwdriver, split, bright LED. Um, the threshold, the MP3 player, battery and cable, number, and shoes um, with the hook and loop. Um, for the second part of the project, we used the Arduino Nano, jump wires, breadboard, resistors, the IR emitter, the IR receiver, the US cable, and a buzzer. Um, we connected the uh, photodiode to the um, Arduino Nano, and um, we made sure that it read and printed the voltage that corresponds to the amount of lightning hitting it. Uh, we tested this by covering the photodiode with our hand and noticing the voltage drop. And then when we removed our hand, the voltage will rise. Um, the numbers that we got um, from doing this was ranging from the 600s to the 700s. Um, the methodology, um, a lot of our research for this part of the, um, for the first part of the project uh, was watching different tutorials and educating ourselves on how the little bits actually work. Um, some of the challenges that we um, faced was trying to figure out how the spirometer was going to um, send a signal to the tool because the actual um, breathing machine was not connected and naturally there was no way to, to kind of like electronically connect it. So um, it took us some time to figure out that we had to actually tape it to the sen tape the uh, sensor facing a specific way to the spirometer. Therefore, when they breathe in it, the um the the the, uh, the actual thing would block the uh, sensor, and that's what triggered the actual tool. We also struggled with learning to use the code in order to make um one bit function differently um, than its original function. Um, we decided to do this in replace of not having specific components. Um, and as a result of that, we realized that that's kind of impossible to do with little bits. Um, for the second part of this project, we had to conduct a more in-depth research. Uh, we spent time reading and learning Arduino. We learned how it functions and how to code it in order to get it to function how we want to. Uh, we used the inter internet to research different modules, tutorials, and previous similar projects with similar goals using Arduino. Um, as a result, um, in research for the first part of the project, um, using little bits, we was able to understand how the tool work, how the tools work. Um, when the patient breathes enough into the spirometer, um, the sensor that we actually take to the spirometer will send the signal to the threshold. Um, with us not having a threshold, we tried to substitute it with using a sound trigger, but that did not work. Um, after that, um, when using little bits, we realized that we were unable to make other bits function and, re and replace of missing a bit. But um, in some cases, um, it might not function. And in most cases, um, we realize that it will not function um, without having the right components. So um, if you're trying to work on a project that with little bits and you don't have the actual right to tools, um, it might be pretty difficult for you to complete the project.
Another thing that we realized was, uh, was that Little Bits has its own coding and cannot be coded or programmed with a different system. Um, our research and hands-on experience with using Arduino, we have realized that using this was surprisingly not as complex as using Little Bits. Um, secondly, we was able to create the same function way faster with using less components. Um, and lastly, we learned how to code in Arduino in order to make our tool function and do what we wanted to do regardless with, um, if we had missing components. <laughs> Um, lesson plan and activities. I actually plan on having my students understand the importance of the tool. Um, I teach healthcare students in which some major in respiratory therapy. Um, I think they would benefit from knowing how the tool functions on the back end. Um, I also plan on having them build one using the Arduino, the photo dial, and the buzzer. And I would like them to focus on how they can improve the functions of the tool. Um, I also have a video attached here so you guys can see how we uh, let uh, had the Arduino function and, and by us covering our hand with it, you can see the numbers range um, up and down. Um, lastly, for the future work, um, as a P-TECH teacher, um, my students will always be healthcare students. I plan to continue to research in order to educate my students on the newest technology that they will be uh, working with when they get into their desired careers. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.